Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mubashra and in this video I will go through renal transplant. It is a condition in which donor kidney is transplanted into a patient with end-stage renal disease. It's a treatment of choice in these patients. The lifespan increases to 10 years as compared to other modes of renal replacement therapy and it significantly improves the quality of life. Marked improvement in long-term graft survival has made renal replacement therapy in the form of renal transplant a more cost-effective alternative. Now let's talk about indications of renal transplant. These include end-stage renal disease which can be secondary to diabetes mellitus, hypertension, glomerulonephritis, autosomal dominant polycystic kidney disease and renal tumors, especially renal cell carcinoma in adults and Wilms tumor in children analgesic nephropathy and congenital urinary tract abnormalities. Types of renal transplant. It can be living donor transplant or diseased, either brain death or cardiac death. These two types of transplant are usually used. Now let's talk about donor matching for renal transplant. The patient and donor kidney are matched by a method which is called as HLA typing and there are three types type A, B and C which are present on chromosome number 6. Matching donor with patient. It leads to decreased transplant rejection and better outcomes in the future. Let's talk about the procedure of renal transplant. The patient's own kidneys are left in place and the donor kidney is usually transplanted in the pelvis in the right ileic fossa and the renal vessels are anastomosed with the pelvic vessels, usually external ileic vessels, and the ureter is anastomosed directly with the bladder, and the donor kidney is usually palpable in the right ileic fossa after the transplant. The Rutherford-Morrison scar, which is also known as hockey stick incision, is used for renal transplant. After the renal transplant, the new kidney starts functioning immediately. Post-transplant patients require long-term immunosuppressive therapy, which includes corticosteroids, tacrolimus, mycophenolate morphetil, azathioprine, sirolimus, and cyclosporine, and these are for lifelong. The side effects of immunosuppressant therapy can be in the form of seborrheic warts, skin papillomas and gum hypertrophy. It can be Cushingoid appearance and skin carcinoma, especially non-Hodgkin lymphoma, squamous cell carcinoma. Now let's talk about complications of renal transplant. The most common complication includes transplant rejection, which can be hyperacute because of preformed antibodies. It can be acute or it can be chronic. And other complications include transplant failure, electrolyte imbalance, and certain anesthesia complications. The complications of immunosuppression includes infections in the form of pneumocystis gyrovici pneumonia or pneumocystis carinae pneumonia. It can be reactivation of tuberculosis, reactivation of cytomegalovirus or herpes simplex virus, or it can be bacteremia, thrush, adrenal insufficiency, Cushingoid syndrome, and steroid-induced psychosis. Now let's talk about prognosis and outcome of renal transplant. The prognosis after renal transplant is generally excellent. One-year graft survival is approximately 95% and five-year graft survival is 90%, but many factors influence the outcome. Now let's talk about how to approach a case of renal transplant in your short case. You should elicit these clinical signs. Lindsay nails, half and half nails, finger prick marks, fine tremors, flapping tremors, pallor in the form of conjunctival pallor and pale sallow complexion of renal patients. In the arms, you will look for arteriovenous fistula. You will look for needle prick marks that whether it is actively used or not, palpable thrill and you can auscultate machinery like murmur. This is healthy AV fistula with visible needle prick marks. In the neck, you will examine double lumen catheter or porta cath or previous mod of renal replacement therapy. In the abdomen, you will look for scars. It can be ileic fossa scar, 
that is Rutherford Morrison scar for renal transplant. In the flank, you can look for nephrectomy scar and peritoneal dialysis catheter scar below the umbilicus. You will also check the fluid status of the patient, that whether there is raised venous pressures, pitting pedal edema, and fine crepitations on bilateral lung bases. Six things you should never forget in a case of renal abdomen. Number one, current mode of renal replacement therapy, whether it is transplant or dialysis. Previous modes of renal replacement therapy. Adequacy of renal replacement therapy in the form of uremia and fluid status. Complications of renal failure, for example, anemia. And complications of immunosuppressants, which we have already discussed and the etiology of renal disease. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel, click the bell icon and like the video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Stay blessed. Allah Hafiz.